When lava cools, as with pottery, magnetic regions form within it. Acting like microscopic compass needles, they record not only how strong the field is, but also in what direction it is pointing. Today, the Earth's magnetic field runs from south to north, which is why compass needles point toward the North Pole. And recent lava flows record a field pointing north. But 50 years ago, when scientists measured the magnetism trapped in older lava samples, they made a startling discovery. The microscopic magnets within the lava were all pointing south. When we go back about 700,000 years, we find an incredible phenomenon. Suddenly, the rocks are magnetized backwards. Instead of them being magnetized to the north, like today's field, they're magnetized to the south. It seemed that prior to 780,000 years ago, Hawaiian lava must have cooled within a global magnetic field that was running to the south and away from the north, exactly the reverse of today. The bizarre implication was that at some point, the entire global magnetic field had done a sudden 180 degree flip, completely reversing direction. It was hard for people to accept. They did not like the idea that the field reversed. It took about 50 years to convince people of this. But eventually, that was established, and really by work on this island. Because if you keep on going down, you would find that after about another couple of hundred thousand years, then it changes again. And you see this sequence going on. And as they examined samples from older and older lava, scientists found more and more reversals. On average, one every 200,000 years. And so by the time people had done that, it was pretty obvious that the field did indeed reverse. <laughs> 